Hey, how's it going? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So, it wasn't very long ago we popped over to Hag's End and beat the living snots out of a load of near do wells to get the slow time shout. Unfortunately, I forgot to include a couple of very important items um, in that walkthrough. Uh, one of them was a unique weapon called Bloodthorn, another was a unique item called Predator's Grace. So, what we're going to have to do is pop back and go and get them. Okay, so this time we have the luxury of fast travel. So let's hop over there. And if you cleared it all out properly before, you shouldn't uh, come across any enemies. But if it's been a while since you've been here, some certainly may have respawned. So be aware of that. And let's just go in. I'll probably be picking up a few bits and bobs that I missed last time and some other stuff may have respawned so I'll very quickly check. I may pick up some extra goodies. One thing I did miss was a scroll in here. And there it is. And hook a right. Check the chest out. Yeah, it was empty last time. That's Janice uh, setting off another trap. You can actually pick up the shrouded armor here. Uh, I may do that if I continue with the Dark Brotherhood quest. Though that's not a quest I particularly enjoy. And see if this responds anything. No. I didn't check out the druggers last time, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, onwards and upwards. And don't forget to hang back on this. And we go straight through. Pass the word wall and go outside. Now Bloodthorn is found on the altar. I don't know how I missed it last time. And take Bloodthorn there. Not the witch, Bloodthorn. Thank you. Let's see if anything else is ah oh, hard grade and feathers, I forgot those. Kind of eerie sometimes coming back on a, a place you've cleared out. The chest is empty that hasn't respawned. Now to get the hidden chest, this is a very well hidden chest, and probably no reason for you to go here if you didn't know this was here. So go along the side and just literally run Skyrim style along the wall here. And there you go. Cross over and you get some decent loot in this chest as well. And you can see the boots to the side. Now these are very interesting boots actually. So anyway, uh, lock pick the chest, get all master's gloves, that'll do, yum yum. My lock picking's got very rough recently. to daddy. Oh, that was close. God, I am rubbish at the moment. Yes. And that is a decent, decent uh, lot of loot there. Very decent. It should be, because this, this, this is chest is ridiculously hard to find and this is what we come for the predator's grace so let's uh, take a moment to have a look at what we've got here 
And we'll pop over here um, to have a look at our stuff. I don't know why we're doing that, but let's start with the Predator's Grace. These unique boots are counted as light armor with uh, a base armor of five. They have two enchantments. Uh, the wearer is muffled and moves silently and stamina regenerates at 1% faster. This is actually a unique opportunity to get muffled footwear um, without joining the um, Dark Brotherhood uh, quest line. These can be upgraded at a workbench, uh, but I think you can only get them up to flawless unless you boost your smithing past um, 100. Now the 1% uh, stamina regeneration doesn't sound much, but actually now this is actually a really good enjoyment. Um, you only need one point in your stamina to do a power attack. So uh, this 1% keeps you topped up, so you can almost continuously uh, power attack. Not quite continuously, but almost. So these boots are most certainly worth getting. Now let's take a look at Bloodthorn. This is a fantastic uh, little weapon um, with two enchantments, yes, two. Now, as you can see, it says if a target dies within three seconds, it fills a soul gem, which is brilliant on its own, but also it's got an absorb health uh, enchantment on it. Uh, it takes 10 health points off your victim. Now this, combined with Predator's Grace, is a perfect combination for any sneak build. So there you have it, that's Hag's End done and rifle completely. Now if you haven't seen my uh, playthrough or stroke walkthrough of Hag's End to get the uh, slow time shout, I recommend you watch that. And I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.